And after 22 seasons, CBS bids a final goodbye from Daytona. Thank you for having been a part of it with us. And thanks to everyone at the Daytona International Speedway and NASCAR, who over the years always made it a joy to come to the birthplace of speed for the Pepsi 400 and for the great American race, the Daytona 500 each February. To everyone in the Daytona future, have a good ride. This telecast of the Brickyard 400 will be the final NASCAR Winston Cup telecast for a while here on ABC Sports, which has enjoyed bringing you dozens of races over the years and all seven stock car races here at Indianapolis. We don't want to think of it as a final goodbye, but rather, and until we meet again. For years, we who have been fans and followers have wanted one thing for the sport, respect. And over the past few years, we've attained a lot more of just that, the sense of being included in a real part of the American sports spectrum. And for years, we've wanted these drivers to get the financial respect that we believe they deserve for their commitment to this very dangerous and very difficult game. 2001 is going to be a pivotal year in Winston Cup racing and its history. New tracks will bring the speed, the spectacle, and the heroes to new facilities in major population areas. And this new TV contract will provide the Winston Cup drivers with the dollars they deserve. And the television promise is to bring new technology and new excitement. You know, I love 1969 and 70 when the pioneer effort was with the Motor Racing Network in bringing radio broadcasting to a new level. It was exciting then. It was thrilling in the year 1979 with that first flag-to-flag -flag broadcast of the Daytona 500, which many say changed the way America perceived this sport and its heroes. And I think it's going to be just as exciting next year to see what's on the horizon for the great American game, stock car racing. Thank you so much for being part of it with us. Now it's time for all of us here at TNN to say goodbye to NASCAR, but even more importantly, we have to say goodbye to you, the NASCAR fans. Working side by side with some of the most talented and certainly some of the most courageous athletes in the world was truly our pleasure. It was our good fortune. Meanwhile, over the years, we have heard from hundreds, if not thousands of you. Some of you enjoyed our coverage, others found fault in it. All I can say today is that whatever made air here on TNN was done with only one objective in mind, and that was to give you folks and to serve you, the greatest sports fans in the world, the sport that you so very much love. And Buddy Baker, that's been our good fortune, really working for the very best sports fans in the world. Exactly right, and that's why we do the things we do, is because of the fans. Throughout life, we as individuals and professionals invest countless time, money, and effort in search of all the elusive elements that can bring our health and happiness to the next level. But every once in a while, magic happens. That special combination that just cannot be explained, it just happens. On a Sunday afternoon at Rockingham in 1981, the magic began. We now arrive at a moment that every member of this team had wished would never come for over a year. The time we knew that we all must go our separate ways and then hopefully, just for a while, our NASCAR Winston Cup coverage. As the senior member of the team, I've accepted the responsibility of saying farewell. And believe me, it is not easy. Benny, Ned, Jerry, John, Bill, Mike Wells, our director, and Neil Goldberg, our producer, and a lot of other behind-the-scenes people, and I, have become like family over the years. And although and I and several other members of this team will continue to be seen on ESPN, our time together as a team is over. We thank everyone at NASCAR and the various tracks we've visited, but most importantly, we thank you, our fans, who have contributed so much to our coverage down through the years. It was for you that we've done this since 1981. Without you, there would have been no magic. And so it is to you that we dedicate these next few moments. We hope you take pride, as we will, in what we've accomplished on those more than 200 Sunday afternoons.